Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Elden Ring. Uh, no summons, all bosses. Trying to, all content, basically. All trophies, all bosses, all significant stuff. Like, you know, even though it's just all bosses, I want to obviously do all the cool things. But, welcome back. If you're enjoying the series, uh, consider hitting the like button, subscribing with the bell turned on, leaving comments. All that helps out. Thank you so much to those who do that. We got the rusty key whilst being locked in that room over there, so now we're going to use that over here. I the rusty key. And now we go up here. Uh, we are in Stormvale Castle. It is the home of the first demigod. I'm not sure how much they've really talked about um, in terms of the lore just yet. But basically, yes, we are. There was the shattering where the Elden Ring was shattered and then given to a lot of demigods. That's for you. Bye bye. Um, hi ya. Hi ya. There was the shattering, and then, uh, yeah, a lot of the demigods uh, 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 took a piece of the Elden Ring and then ran with it. And so we need to basically hunt them down. Now, you literally only need to do two, by the way, I guess because it makes kind of like a, a whole ring, right? If you do one and then two, wee, and then just put it together. But there are many more, how the heck did we get to that? There are many more demigods than that is the thing. Is this where we work? Yeah, so by the way, if a guy has a shield, you can keep attacking, and eventually their shield will dissipate. So yeah, man, that stacks bleed fast, doesn't it? Uh, so yeah, uh, basically we just need to hunt down two demigods, but there's way more than that, and then we need to reforge an Elden, Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. That's our goal. So here in Stormvale... What the heck is that? Here in Stormvale Castle, there is... Um, Definitely, uh, at least, well, de there, here at Storyvale Castle, there is one. We know that. Oh, Brick Hammer. Interesting. Uh, there is one demigod. So we're hunting him down here in Stormvale. I don't know if we know who he is. I think we do. I think that's not a spoiler, but I don't really want to mention it. Have we been down there or not? I don't remember climbing a ladder. I guess we have. This room is confusing because it's so multi-layered crap. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's see. Then we hop down here. Whee! There's still a purple item that I want to nab. I'm not really sure what it is. Up we go to the top of this ladder. To the up to the tippy top. Up to the very top of this ladder. I shall find myself at the very top of it. Ah, expertly, I might add. Whee! Uh, okay, we need to go that way. But there's still a purple item in that little. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> and we're back. We still need to find our way to that little item right there, but I don't know how. He's so lonely. He's just purple and lonely up there at the top. Uh, genuinely, how do you get to that item, though? This is annoying. Whee! Look at this. Me and this guy just did the same thing. We have the same hood on. Weird. Uh, there is, like, a spot right... Oh, you must have to fall... Yeah, I guess you go up there and then fall onto it. Very weird. Okay. This, uh, yeah, this room is a bit... Watch this. I don't even give a F. Yeah. The more, the less you think about those types of jumps, the more you'll actually make them, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, whenever, whenever there's something where it's like, oh, God. Oh, God, I really better make this. Like, you know, the more you think about it, the more you're just psyching yourself out. I've genuinely found that to be true. You can genuinely do stuff a little bit better without thinking about it so much. Okay. Hello there. No, don't get up. Don't get up. This damage here is kind of nuts. Okay, we get a silver pickled foul foot, which uh, increases your item discovery rate, which can be good if you're trying to grind for certain items. Yeah, yeah. So right now we're trying to break into the castle, obviously, by the way. We're trying to use the ramparts around here. Now, you can go up the front gate, but again, I'm not sure what you need to make that possible, possible because Jesus Christ, uh, there were so much um, damage. You know, there's so much damage coming in. What do we have here? Mushroom? Nothing down there, it looks like. That guy has a mushroom on him, that's it. He has three of them, actually. Okay, up we go. Hello? I make my way to the top, I ascend. And once I have, once I have ascended, I will wreak havoc. I'm letting, I'm, I'm warning you now, I will, I will wreak havoc. I will, oof! Almost fell off the edge there. Okay, I still want to get that purple item, but let's just check around here for some cheeky stuff. I'm really not going to put anything there. Okay, so we are going to... Can we use Scholar's Armament? We cannot. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. 
We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. And I'm kind of scared of this guy, so we're also going to hold X and press left on the D-pad to activate our Wondrous Physic, which gives us a big-ass shield. What's up, though? And there's a backstab, which increases based on critical hit, or uh, dex. Oh, my God. I switched the camera, so I keep looking over here because I keep thinking the camera's over there. Just trying new camera angles. Um, which, by the way, if you leave a comment uh, in the comment section below, which one do you prefer? The one that was over here looking at me here while I was looking there or the one here looking at me direct on? I've got a better background for this one. I don't know. People said they liked the other one, but I'm not really sure. Just uh, trying out new things. Okay, big-ass elevator down there. Okay, yeah. Good to pop the Wondrous Physic because, you know, once you find a... Sight of Grace, it'll come back anyway, so you might as well pop these if you think you're going up against a mini-boss or something, you know? Okay, what do we have all over here? A Drawstring Fire Grease, which is going to increase the amount of... Uh, it's gonna give you... gonna give your bow, like, fire damage, which is cool. Contraption does not move. Okay, we can go up, or we can go this way. I don't remember which way we want to go go, but there's a Sight of Grace right there, and I think as soon as you see one, you might as well go activate it. Hello there. Don't mind if I do. Okay, let's rest to get all of our stuff regenerated. I can't believe we still don't have a, uh, enough to add another golden seed. I will say this, though. They do give you quite a lot. They give you quite a lot of, um, Oh, right. Yeah, we have a major choice now. They give you quite a lot of golden seeds and uh, flasks, or uh, C uh, what are they called? Uh, tier, whatever. Um, you'll eventually max out your S. You'll oh, my gosh, the terminology drives me crazy because I like to be correct about it. They will give you enough uh, uh, sacred tears and golden seeds to max out your... What's this thing called? Flask of Crimson Tears... So you don't really have to worry about it, because, like, you will get enough. Okay, welcome to the courtyard. So, this is where things get crazy now. Because, basically, we can take that route, or we can take... Oh, yeah, there was an NPC that I completely forgot about. We can take that route, or we can go up to the top and take the top route. I think the top route is more... Optional. So I think we go for the top route now instead. We got two elevators as well. This castle did my head completely in the first time I did it. Okay, hello there. Freaking shield. Freaking shield. Sheldon. Oh yeah, this is weird. There's like no way to get over this guy except for jumping over this, oddly enough. What's up, Bow Barry? Oh, you don't like that bleed stack now, do ya? What's up? Item, Igor. <laughs> uh, okay, I think... Yeah, all that for throwing daggers, as if that matters. Whee! So, yeah, you could go up here, or you could go down to that. I, I think the intended route is more so um, down near the side of Grace, which is probably why the side of Grace is over there. But you will miss a lot of stuff up here. If I remember right, if this leads to the right zone. What's up? What's up? Are you going to hit me with your bow? Is that what you were intending on doing? Hitting me with your bow? It's an odd strategy, but, you know, go for it. Okay, so this is where our ranged magic will probably come in massive, massive, massive. And here's the thing. I have no problem at all using magic for enemies that I find to be exceedingly annoying and, you know, because... If I had not done the playthrough with pure melee, which I've done, then that'd be one thing. Okay. What the hell was that? What is that? Okay, switch to this, please. Oh, no. Please! Okay, this guy is being an absolute jerk. Jeez Louise. Ew! Ew! Oh, my God. That guy had glowy eyes, by the way. Okay, that was not good at all. We used quite a lot of our resources there, but that's okay. Hey, buddy, wake the heck up. Wake the heck up. So, yeah, you could use heavy attacks with the claws, but I don't really understand the point considering you want to be building up bleed. Man, we missed that one purple item down there, by the way, and I don't know what that was. Uh, but welcome to missing 400,000 items in the castle. There are This castle is so damn large. There's, like, no end to this damn place, so... 
don't expect me to get every item. That is definitely not happening. Or in the game, for that matter. There are so many areas and so many items. It genuinely gets unbelievably overwhelming to get everything. Anyways, okay. So this is a little secret zone. You can kind of uh, traipse around these ramparts here. Or traipse around these rooftops here. There's a bunch of little hidden items, I think. Let's see. What is that? What's oh, a flag? Okay, I'm going to jump over here. Yeah. Is this intent? I think this is intended. I think you're supposed to come into these weird spots. Yeah, like this right here. Right? You're going to let me drop down? Looks like it. Okay, what do I get for my efforts? Stone sword key. Very nice. You want to be stacking those up. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at this guy. Okay. Okay. Switch to the right stab. Oh, man. This guy can shoot fire as well. Ah! Welcome to the birds. <sighs> Welcome to the freaking birds. They are so... It's the same reason everybody hates the dogs in FromSoft games. They are so hard to pin down. They're always moving, going crazy. And they have good damage. It's one of those enemies that, uh, you know, they kind of gave everything to, as I've said in the past. You know, they gave the damage. They gave the agility. They take multiple hits, so they have a little bit of beefiness. Okay, not killing all you guys again. Not going to happen. Let me just get out of this place, if you don't mind. Okay, where the heck did we leave off? We went up here, which unfortunately I can't jump up to just yet. Oh, yeah, you blow your horn. You blow your horn. Dinah! Are you still alive? Get the heck out of here. Okay, all right, let's do this. Uh, okay, fall down, boys. What? I pressed LB. Oh, I. Oh my God, this is so awkward. Uh, whoop. Okay, this is gonna be very satisfying now. Okay. Nice. Hi, ya. How are you still alive, buddy? That freaking shield is giving you so much worth! Wow! 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 Once again, it's just one of those comedy of errors moments. Not really. Not as much. Some mistakes, definitely, for sure. What's weird is I can't really tell as much when I have... When I have uh, non-dual-wielded claws, it's one of those issues, which I think was the thing of Bloodborne, right? It was hard to kind of tell when I had my Blades of Mercy dual-wielded or not, or transformed or not. Uh, same thing with these claws. It's kind of hard to tell because they're so small. So, like, I thought at one point, okay, let's grab that. It's kind of good to die, though, if your runes are on the other side of the map because then you don't have to be annoyed by them being on your... Um, on your uh, compass at the top there. Whee! Okay, we are taking it back to that bird. We are taking the fight back to that bird. That son of a bird. Okay, let's go do wield. I'm just gonna bash this bird's... Yeah, how? How did that miss? Yeah, welcome to the birds, ladies and gentlemen. Landing a hit is the hardest damn thing. Okay, I'm gonna grab your item. What do you think about that? Ha ha! Dozy... What? Oh, that's an emote. Weird. Oh my god, that damage is insane! Okay, I don't want to die here. This thing is nuts. I gotta keep switching all my stuff around. Okay, bait out an attack. Okay, a one, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a five, and a just die. Oh my god. Whoa! Very scary. Yeah, birds are not fun. Whee! Especially that one. I think that one's like a buffed up one. Oh, there's a stone sword key down there. Interesting, which we just got. I've noticed they will tend to give you stone sword keys around the area where you can actually use them, which seems to be right here. But I'm not sure if I can jump down there just yet. I could maybe if I jumped on that pole. Nah, we'll just remember it's there. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll make the smart decision here. I think trying to get down to that right now would be dumb. Also, they let you go back up here, too. Did we miss another hidden item? Let us see. Anything? 
Yeah, there's just so much with these ramparts. It's kind of crazy. Or these uh, rooftops. Like, look at this. Like, how many people have just flat out missed all of this? Okay. Come on, man. How'd that not hit the last guy? What? Hiya! Yeah, the castle is very, very, very difficult. It's no joke. No freaking joke, because there are... Where is this going now, by the way? Yeah, I don't even think I did this on my Twitch channel. I don't even think I went up here. What the heck? Excuse me? Uh, uh, uh. Flee! Yeah. Drop anything? Oh, ho. yoink. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, I don't even think I went up this ladder on my Twitch channel, I think, because there's so many different routes to take on this, uh... On these castle, uh... Rooftops. It's just, uh, it gets very tricky to know where you want to go. Okay, what do we have way up here? Oh. Well, I'm gonna let you guys do your thing. Claw... Oh, I did do this, because, yeah, that is a very... Oh, yeah, okay, that's a huge thing for me, because that one increases the jump attack damage, yeah, which I use quite a lot in this game. I do want that. Can I switch that out for the raises stamina recovery speed? Yeah, no, no, because it uses bleed, the claws, and I want to kind of trigger that bleed. But yeah, that has been a very, very helpful uh, talisman for me personally. Yeah, that is, that is mega hidden, though. But good luck finding that if you don't know where to get that. Okay, where are we going now? I think we're just going to pick a route because this is so overwhelming. Okay, we're back to here again. Let's go ahead and pop mana when we have the safety of it. Let's see, does that go anywhere? No, looks like... Actually, yeah, we can fall down here. Yeah, screw it. Let's go down this way. Okay, moving right along. Whee! Okay. Oh, we got some scary boys up ahead. Confirm scary boys. Scary boys located. Okay, what's down there? Oh, got some cheeky stuff down there. Uh-oh. This might be really, really, really bad. Somber smithing stone. Don't know what that was. What is in here? Oh, God, that guy. This guy gave me so much trouble. I'm just going to say no for now. Um, let's go ahead and put that stone sword key in this little imp statue here. Also, this might be the thing that's really, really, really scary as well. What is this room? Or maybe not. Hold on. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I can't afford any mistakes here, really. Nope. The amount that I'm dying here is making me very sad. Very, very sad. Okay, we're back again, but this time we're taking a bit of a different route. Uh, to our right is that rooftop with that crazy bird. But over here, we have not been this away just yet. So let's see where this goes. I have no idea. This castle intertwines like a massive, complex labyrinth. It looks like we are where we need to be, though. Because I, I do want to take on that stone sword key since I used it. Uh, now, uh, yeah, is that a bunch of bird crap down there? What's up, guys? Whoop, oh, whoop. Oh. Okay, all right. Glenstone arc here is gonna be very helpful. God, these delayed attacks. No! Oh my god, I've been so bad at avoiding certain attacks in this game because they know you're gonna. They know you're trying to roll it. Get the hell out of here. Jeez, Louise, please chill for a second. Okay, let's go. Yeah, enemies have such weird delayed attacks now, which is a cool thing, because they threw off... They throw off people like me, who are so used to... Uh, oh my god! I'm getting destroyed here now, this is... Oof. Okay, and we're back. We lost a lot of runes there, that was pretty rough. We're gonna walk over here, we're gonna... Switch to the staff and get some damage on these big boys! Ooh, 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 do not want to get hit. Yep. Okay, I think that kills the one in the back. Good, and then we can just go for a baited attack here. Yep. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hit by everything. <gasps> I need to stop getting hit by every single thing under the sun. It's not a good look. Iron wet blade. Oh yeah, what does that do? Mi Misericorde. Okay, some random weapon down here. Hot crest wooden shield. By the way, I think that bird is still trying to attack me from, like, that one bird on that, uh, whoop! That one bird from the, um... Oh, come on, man. Oh, my god. 
the bird on the top of the roof that was guarding that one item. Now, I need to see what that whetstone is, because I'm forget. I thought it was used to switch uh, uh, ashes of war, but now I'm unsure. Is it a crafting material? Because you can get different types of whetstones. Where is that thing? It's not a key item, right? Or is it? It is. Grant's choice of affinity upgrade to weapon can be used as a weapon when applying an affinity using Ashes of War. An additional affinity of heavy, keen, or quality can be chosen. Oh, wow. And then a whetstone knife. Allows the use of Ashes of War to side of grace to bestow new battle arts and affinities to armaments and skills. Oh, yeah. What is the skill for this weapon? I just realized for the claws. Quick step. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Yeah, very, um, very, um, what is the point of being out here, by the way? Very, uh, uh, negligible a bit. Well, not negligible. Very minor effect, but not even minor effect. Very, uh, there was something down there that we want to go do, by the way, but I think that's just to show you there's an option to go down there. Um, yeah, not very flashy, but, uh, probably very helpful. Okay, now this freaking guy. Okay, see, this is the type of enemy where I really don't mind just kind of cheesing a little bit with the glintstone pebble here. Meet the glintstone. Please don't kill me. Please don't. Please don't kill me. You are so freaking scary. I'm out of magic right now. Let me heal up with my flask. Thank you. Okay, yeah, this guy just kind of... Yeah, so one hit does that. Okay, I don't even know how I'm going to really fight this guy, honestly. Especially when the game does not want to lock on. There we go. Taste my, taste my glintstone. I'm going to load you freaking up. Unless you get behind a pillar and somehow avoid every attack, even though you're a giant hulking beast. Okay, what is happening here? Oh, am I hitting a shield? Is that what's going on? Yeah, this guy is insane. Okay, gonna do this, gonna do this. Should I get in there? Should I do it? I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm not scared whatsoever. Stop. Yes, oh my God. I have a tendency to like panic roll when it comes to very tough enemies like that. And I was already doing it. I was like, why, how, how have you played 14,000 hours of these games and still you're panic rolling? Chill out, man. Relax. Hi, ya. Hi, ya, buddy. Bobbity. Boo. Okay. Golden rune. I think this is good. Chrysalids. Oh, yeah. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Quick step. Oh, and it's like a... Oh, you do like a... Oh, cool. So when you quick step, you do the uh, rolling attack. So this is the rolling attack. That, that, right? And then when you use this and then follow it up with that, it counts as the rolling attack, which is pretty good, it seems like. So that is pretty neat. Okay, that was important, by the way, to grab there, that uh, that uh, memento, um, which we'll read in just a second here. Highland axe there. And we've got uh, the guy we're... Okay, we've got the guy we're hunting down. Oh my god, I just noticed, yeah, all the body parts up here. Oh, disgusting. Okay, uh, so let's read that chrysalids. Actually, let's not. Let's um, make use of this scholar's armament real quick. Oh, there's the running attack. Okay. Come on! Oh, boy. Oh, this castle is so much tougher than other areas of the game at this point in time. Okay, so let's read that chrysalid's memento. It should be a key item. Yes. Brooch wrapped in red velvet. Memento left by the chrysalid sacrificed for grafting. A brooch wrapped in red velvet. Traces of blood are visible. Faintly visible spirits try to convey something, but their voices cannot be heard. How dare you look at me? Yeah, there we go. So that chrysalid memento is actually the key item that you need to find for uh, what's her face, uh, the red hooded girl um, in the uh, yeah, in that one shack or whatever. Uh, so let's do this and let's do that. Get some light here. There we go. So yeah, you need to get that thing in order to advance her quest line. By the way, which is why my brain was like, that's an important thing. 
Okay, see you later, Alligator. I'll take that, though. Thank you. Commoner's Headband Altered. Yeah, that's one thing that I'm not really aware of this game, is you can alter equipment. And I don't really know what it does, unless if it's literally just to have a minor physical change or what. Uh, but yeah, you can alter um, uh, just uh, different types of equipment, and uh, it does change the stats, though. Okay, so here's the courtyard. I'm going to heal because I happen to know where the Site of Grace is, and I'm going to try to just run straight through to it. Straight on through to the other side. Straight on through to the other side. Other side. Other side. Straight on through to the other side. Mwah. Straight on through to the other side. Right on to that Site of Grace. There is the Site of Grace right here, right in my face. And rest. Oh, almost. You almost got me. Not quite there, though. Pass time, level up. Uh, yeah, can we still not? Man, level up's early game are slow as hell, it feels like. Flasks, memorize spell. Do we have anything new that we could use? Oh, probably. Glintstone Pebble is good. Glintstone Arc is still great. Scholar's Arm. What, strikes from behind with projectile fired from a distance. Interesting. What else do we have? Oh, yeah, people are saying you're supposed to hold these down, I think. Crystal Burst and Crystal Barrage. You're supposed to, like, hold them down? But I don't know, man. The other stuff just does so much. Okay, well. Oh, is this an... Oh. Nice. Big shortcut here. Okay. So, yeah. If you know the routes, it's kind of funny. Because you can speed up the process of exploring way, 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 way faster. Because you can, um, obviously, interconnect the map and everything. Does not open from that side. Weird. Okay. So, then we have this elevator that goes somewhere... Now we could give this guy one shot, but we have no up we have no upgraded weapons and no wait. I think the boss is near here if I remember correctly. Oh, look at that. Look at that cheeky stuff. Okay, let's go down here. Is that gonna kill me? It does not kill me, interesting. And let's fall Oh, I thought that was it is, yes. It is a landable little little thing. Smithing stone two. Oh, okay. So this I completely missed my first playthrough, but now I will not, and I have no idea if this is even going to be possible. But if it is, and if we do it successfully, we will be greatly, greatly, greatly rewarded. But I'm not holding my breath either. Especially when rats give me this... God, the rats in this game are genuinely, like, so much more uh, aggressive. Okay, I think the, the claws have had their fun. <laughs> I think I'm going to switch over to the Uchi Katana. Not at all because it's so much better. No, not, not at all. Just because um, I want to. It's it's so cool. That's all. <laughs> what does this do, by the way? Oh, no. Where's the... Um, I wanted to look at that Mazericold. Mazericold. Skill quick step. Dagger favored by military physicians and white. The point of blade is hard and sharp. Making critical hits is especially potent. Medicine is mercy, and mercy upon the battlefield is ruthless. But where the killers clothed as men as compassion. Men of compassion. Okay, so let's switch this back to the Uchi Gatana, which is far, far, far more useful. Wait, how does the flail work? Ooh. Oh, so got a little dangly. Okay, uh, where is my Uchi Gatana, please? Thank you very much. As, as cool as that is, I need to kind of use something that I can utilize, I feel like. Okay, so... Yeah, let's go down here. If we can do this successfully, that would be a great thing. Uh, is there no way to, like, not take falling damage here? I know for a fact, by the way, there is a ring that will make you invulnerable to fall damage, but it is not what you expect. It is not you are immune to fall damage. It is you cannot take damage if you were to take damage. If you were to die, you still die. So it's utter trash. Basically useless. hi yeah. Nice. Hi, yeah. Nice. Okay, see, I'm not above using weapons like a little early. Oh, God. I'm not above using like strong weapons like this if I feel like we're at a part of the game that is tougher than where we are level wise. Just to progress the playthrough, you know, a little bit. I feel like, I feel like that's fine. Okay, what are you rats guarding? A poison bloom, and I could hear a dung beetle hiding amongst all this crap as well. Aha. I think that one is, yeah. Oh, Ranker Call. Interesting. I thought that was going to be a, um, 
I definitely thought that that was going to be a smithing material, but it was not. Okay. I think this goes to the thing that I remember that we cleaned up way late. Yep. All right. Well, if you look at a pit like that, you might think something bad's about to happen, and you would be absolutely correct. Um, so, let's see here. Let's go ahead and use Scholar's Armament on our Uchi Katana. Let's use Glidstone Pebble. Uh, let's use our Flask of Wondrous Physic. And let's do a wield this, and let's give this a shot. This is going to be tough as hell. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, that... Okay, at least that didn't damage me. I want that purple item, though. Stone Torque Eat All right, well, we've got this thing. Uh, good luck even seeing what it is, because that's the whole point of why this thing is so difficult. Because you cannot see a damn thing while you're fighting it. I'm trying to trigger that bleed, because I think that's the only way that we get out of this. Where is the bleed? Okay, I think I have to heal, because I think it's going to destroy me if I don't... I don't know what is even happening, by the way. There's the bleed. Good bleed damage. Okay. Let's get away and use some magic here. Did that even do anything at all? Okay. Dual wield again. Ugh! Bad hit. We're actually doing pretty well, surprisingly. Okay, gonna pepper him a little bit. That's a tail whip. Oh man, we dodged it. What is he? What happened to the sound? What the hell? Sound just glitched out. No, he's so close. Oh! Don't kill me, please. Oh! I did not expect to win that, man. I did not expect... Yeah, Uchi Katana is strong as hell. I did not expect to beat that at all. Because we came here way, way after the castle, and it still was a little rough. And I don't think anything scales. That would be very weird if anything scaled. So, I would, yeah, I was not expecting a victory there. So, yeah, there's basically a little mini boss hidden down here. Um, and then he will give you a golden seed if you kill him, which is good, because now we can increase the amount of flasks. Prince of Death's Pustule as well. Uh, Prince of Death is a whole thing in this game, lore-wise, that I will not be spoiling. So that is a talisman. So let's take a look at that. Raises vitality. Vita- What is vitality? I don't know what vitality means. That's not a stat, right? Vitality governs resistance to the effects of death. Oh, it tells you. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, there's a death effect in this game that just kills you, basically, like cursed and curse in the past. Man, I am so glad we beat that. Wow, that was, <laughs> was not expecting that. Anyways, okay, so yeah, you get uh, more resistance to uh, curse or death, which, yeah, if the bar fills up, you instantly die. It's very fun, especially online where somebody has I, – I've, I've been – I've invaded because there's an invasion subquest where you have to invade other people. And I've invaded somebody where they just literally immediately, like, applied um, Death Blight and killed me instantly. And that was fun. So I guess that would give you resistance to that. But ultimately is very, very useless compared to other talismans that you can equip. Uh, okay, where is this going? Holy crap, this just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. And goes and goes and goes and goes and keeps on going. And it goes and it goes and it just keeps going. And it goes, 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 goes and keeps going. Oh, we're back here at this. Yeah, okay. I know where we are. So let's travel back to the lift side chamber. Or is it this one? Stormville. Yeah, I think it's this one. The farthest one that we've done. Okay, so that was the other boss here. Now we just have the actual main boss, the big scary dude. But we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, if you're enjoying the series, hitting the like button, leaving comments, and subscribing with the bell turned on all helps out the series grow. Thank you to those who do that. Mess thanks to my patrons whose names you're about to see. And thank you again. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. <gasps>